what's up guys, it's Covert Code here and welcome back to episode 16 of our Zero to Hero series. In the last video, we covered how you can use instances for your games and in today's video, we're going to be covering the local keyword. Let's open the script from last time back up and delete everything, zoom in a bit actually. That. So up until now, we only use variables like this. So let's say uh, builder man, okay, is equal to uh something okay so like that and we've used functions like this so function uh builder man function okay just like that however you can actually add local in front of both variables and functions and really there's only one difference okay so if you have an if condition so if true then or if you have a normal function like this so normal function um then these are essentially code blocks, okay? So if you just minimize these, you can actually notice where code blocks are. You have a little arrow to the side, okay? And that's where the code block starts, and the end is usually where the code block ends. So if I have a local uh, variable here, so let's say local uh, test variable, okay? And let's set that to one. This local variable can only be used within this code block, okay? So I can do test variable uh, plus equals 50 and that will work however if i try to add anything or modify or reference that value in any way outside of the code block now remember code block is from the arrow down up until the end okay if i try to access that variable in any way outside of the code block it, like essentially the variable does not exist okay because it's it only exists inside of that code block so if i have print test variable okay it will actually show you that it doesn't exist. However, if I remove the local keyword, okay, and do that, then this variable is no longer hidden, essentially, inside of this code block, okay? So, remember that local variables are essentially hidden inside of code blocks, and the same goes for functions. So, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but you can have a function within a function, okay? So, you can have um, function builder man to function like this, okay, inside of the original uh, function. However, it will actually give you a sort of warning here because it's telling you that you should probably use local, okay, as you guys can see there. Because you only usually put functions within functions, okay, if they're going to be used within that same function, okay? That's a bit confusing. But essentially, this will only be used inside of this function okay that's why you'd put a function within a function there's no other reason to put two functions like inside of each other essentially so you would just add local in front of the function okay and this essentially behaves the same way as the local variables okay so if i try to use builder man to function like this it won't work okay if i remove the local keyword it will work okay uh builder man oh, bad uh, builder man okay so it'll work like this but if I add a local keyword in front of these they're essentially hidden within that code block now code blocks exist in all sorts of sort of um, structures in Lua okay and Lua by the way just in case you don't know is the programming language that we're learning here okay so code blocks is exist in if conditions functions uh, loops so while true do wait code block, um, for loops, for i equals 1 to 20, do, you know, again, now code blocks are pretty apparent, okay, um, if you don't know how to look for them, so if you can't visually tell that this is a code block, okay, you usually have the arrows next to the start of the code block, like this, and they go all the way down to the end, so that's the code block, okay, so, so from the arrow to the end, that's a code block. All you really need to learn from this uh, video is that local variables or local functions can only be accessed within that same code block. So if I have this code block and you can see that arrow, remember it goes all the way down to the end, okay? So this is a code block, okay? From line three to 11. Anything within that same code block, so line four to 10, okay? Can actually be accessed if they're using the local keyword. So if I declare a local variable within that code block, I can manipulate that local variable within the same code block. If I put it outside of the, the um, code block like this, uh, test variable is equal to 20, it won't work. 
this is like declaring a global variable okay so a global variable is pretty much a variable without the local keyword so remember if you want to use local functions or local keyword uh, modify them or access them within that same um, code block okay so that's pretty much all I have guys for this video on, on local variables and local functions I would really appreciate if you guys liked the video subscribe if you can and if you have any suggestions on what videos I should make next leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys next time